What's up, everybody? Indiscriminate Gaming walkthrough for artifact number 17, UEB. And uh, here you go. You want to get to this quadrant here. You're going to get here. You're not going to see the E. Don't worry about it. Just follow these plants. You can follow those trees, excuse me. Basically, you get right around here. If you're in the kind of the middle of the map where I'm at right here, if you look to the left, if you look around, you'll see one, two, three kind of mountain peaks. Just go towards the middle mountain peak. It's the easiest way to do this. And again, I strongly recommend having full med, full full bandages. Uh, you can have med kits as well. There's plenty of cotton, so if you have cloth, is the most important thing. Very easy to get. It's all around the house. And there you go. There's that entrance. All right. So I'll show you on the map again where we are, just so that way it's a bit clear. This is where the actual map entrance is. All right. We're gonna go through here and just like to take a a, a quick minute here just to thank everybody for the support first come first serve the views or comments i've been speaking with um with the creator francis uh we've been in touch about the game and uh you know in speaking with him i recently just learned that um he needs our support he's gonna need our support and i'll tell you how in one second so you see this door here that's gonna be locked what you're gonna want to do is look to the right here and just go up these rocks all right follow this path and then you're gonna hit that switch at the end of this path to open that door he needs our support. The best way we can support him is if you're enjoying the game, if you appreciate what he's done, if you wanna, if you wanna help him and see him and, and make sure he can keep on uh, going with with the next chapter of this game, with the next part of this game. Um, please take two, three minutes. I don't even know if it takes that long, but just take a little bit of time out of your day and just leave a review on Steam if you're enjoying the game, if you appreciate what he's done. Um, it's going to help him out so much, and then hopefully he'll be able to reach reach the funding that he needs from the sales of these games to uh, you know to 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 go and, and continue to release the next chapter. All right, so what you're going to do here is there's a, there's three three survivors. What I like to do is I like to hug this this left rock here, and there you go. You can either wait wait until they see you or try and take one out. You can hug this this side here. You'll be safe. You can take that guy out. Let's see what I got. 18. I'll just reload. Got a visual. There's that guy. He's gonna be behind those bushes. There you go. So just be careful because sometimes they like to hide out. One guy likes to hide out there and then slowly come out, and there'll be another guy behind there. But there are three survivors that you want to take out. All right. There we go, full ammo. Didn't take too much damage. Now you're gonna walk over this bridge. And again, you know, I appreciate so much the views, the comments, the subs. Um, almost, almost at the halfway point, almost at the 50 sub range. Uh, can't do it without you guys. You guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, I just appreciate so much. And uh, to be quite honest, I'm, I'm humbled by, um, I'm, hu I'm just humbled by the support, the encouragement that I've been getting through the gaming community, through just so many different people. Um, it just means so much to me. I can't even begin to express the gratitude that I feel. Woo! So I like to hide behind this tree because that guy, this guy here, is super easy to take out. The other guy is a bit tougher. Sometimes he likes to hide out in those trees. All right, so we took some damage. Not a big deal. I'm gonna use a bandage here. You can drink this water. I did the Paul test. Took the Paul test, and it is blue. It's not brown. But again, yes, just I'm just so grateful um, oh, awesome. for the views and, and the support I've been getting from the viewers. And you know, love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. How you're enjoying the game. Uh, if you're if these if these walkthroughs are helping you out, you know, I, I, I people are checking it out and they're subscribing. I appreciate it very much and I love it. And you know, don't be a stranger. It's just it'd be, I think I don't know. It's just nice to get to know, you know, to get to know the community a bit. So I'm gonna use another bandage. So here's the deal. This is what I found out to be kind of the best, the best thing to do. I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna hit this. It's gonna hit this switch. Just hit this switch. And it's gonna save you so much time. I'm gonna kind of do 
this walkthrough is is kind of like a shortcut, all right? Gonna run down here. There's there's a few ways you can do this, but in my opinion, what I'm gonna show you is the quickest and easiest way to do all this. All right, so gonna walk past this geyser. You wanna get your gun out because there's gonna be a survivor up here, an armed survivor up here. Sometimes they sometimes he can see you before you get to the top, so just be careful. All right. Now you can just run over to the left like this. You don't even have to jump. And reload. There we go. I'm just gonna get my pistol out so I can shoot out these planks. I recommend if you're gonna shoot out the planks, well, you have two options: either knock them out or shoot them out. I've tried knocking them out, and sometimes I get knocked out, so I started shooting him again. You can either do, either use the pistol because the ammo, the materials it takes to craft pistol ammo it's much much easier to gather it's much less time consuming than the other ammo so if you're gonna if you're gonna use a gun I would recommend using the pistol if you run out of ammo no problem you got your shotgun you got the the rifle as well the other option is you could use the, the rifle because whoa why was I sl that was weird I was like sliding you could use the pistol uh, the rifle because there are a lot of survivors now they, they're pretty much armed to the teeth rifle. Be careful of that plank. You don't have to shoot it out if you just stay on the left here. Uh, there's a lot of survivors who have rifles, so rifle ammo has not been oh, Jesus. Has not been too scarce so far. Alright, so just gonna work your way up these planks. And again, I'm crouching, just I, I have like the worst luck when it comes to walking up these planks sometimes. Sometimes I can just cruise through them. It's like I'll cruise through them on, on one in one site and then um, I'm, I'm just gonna use a shotgun here because I need to get this thing out of the way. There we go. Sometimes you can just cruise through these planks and then you know on the next side I'll just I'll be like yeah this is fine no problem and bam just fall off the ledge. It's just, you know. That's how the game works. There we go. I, I'm usually hesitant to use shotgun ammo, um, but you know I've used a shotgun. I haven't really used it in battle. Personally, I don't like very much. I prefer the M4, so I don't mind wasting the shotgun ammo. Here you go. So now you're gonna want to hit the switch here. And uh, why this is one of the reasons why I recommend that you have cloth. You can get plenty of cotton here. So if you got cloth, you can make bandages, no problem. What you're gonna wanna do here is kinda hug this rock here. So you see, let's see, there's the alcove. You kinda wanna get behind this, this tree, go to this rock. And I, I just crouch here and I hug the right side and I fall down. I took very, very little ammo, uh, excuse me, very, very little damage there. Very little fall damage. All right. Now you're going to walk through here. Now you can do two things. You can either shoot these out, but personally I would not shoot those out. I would wait. But what you're going to want to do is you want to get behind this Le artifact. Magnifique. All right. And then when you grab this artifact, just be careful. You're going to want to move kind of over here so that way you don't get crushed by those boulders. You're going to grab that. Now. There you go. See? Kind of moved over because that thing could potentially roll and hit you. You have a new message. All right. That thing's still rolling at me. And uh, in case, in case you get stuck here, you can shoot this away. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'm shooting this boulder away. Okay, shotgun. Whoa. <laughs> shotgun. It's a gun of choice for that one. For me, at least. I don't know if it actually matters. And so now what you're gonna want to do is, might take a little bit of fall damage here, or, actually, this is why I did this. You can just walk down the right hand side here. Alright. You will take very, very little fall damage. Just run across, actually. There you go. See, look at that. Very little damage. We don't even need that bridge. So you could have you could have played the Switch game and gone all the way down and all the way back up and walked over this way. But personally, I think this way is much, much faster. Much easier. Okay. 
So he's gonna jump over here. Be careful if you fall down there, you take a decent amount of damage. All right. And this one you can just run down if you hug the left side there. Okay. And so if you notice, that bridge is still up now. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna go back up here. So we can land on this guy there. Take some damage, but it's all right. Gonna land there, taking more damage. Look at that. Use up our last bandage. So what you're gonna wanna do here is, what did I do here? You wanna hit, hit number three. If you hit number one, that big bridge, if I'm not mistaken, let's see here. I'm just going to save my game because I don't want to have to go back up here. Yeah. The exit bridge is now down. So you can take the exit bridge. So very simple, right? All we did is we went up there once. We hit switch number three. We went, we did some stuff. We got switch number four. We got the artifact. Then we went back up there. Hit switch number three again to reset the bridge. And then hit switch number one. And there you go. You're home free. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate the views so much. Appreciate the subs so, so much. I can't believe getting close to 50. It's amazing. Almost, almost to the halfway point of my 100 sub goal. I need your support. Can't do it without you all. Please, if you haven't subbed already and, and you appreciate these videos, if this, these videos have helped you out, just hit that like, uh, hit that sub button. I'd appreciate it so much. Regardless, though, I'm just glad to be able to give back and contribute to an amazing community. Uh, just, you know, the game, the UAP community, the gaming community. Just thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Indiscriminate gaming. Don't discriminate. Share the love. Keep on gaming.